Quite some years ago, I was visiting in the beautiful city of Vancouver, British Columbia, and I was staying in the stately home of Dr. Scott Banford and his wife. He was a well-to-do dentist in town and had a beautiful garden. He had a Japanese gardener and had a greenhouse full of beautiful exotic flowers. And I was out sitting in the garden when two fellows in black suits walked up and I recognized them as Mormons. As we began the conversation, I said to them, gentlemen, I have a question for you. I think it's one of the most important questions you can ever be asked. And they said, what is it? And I said, do you love the Lord Jesus? Well, the man said, I'm not quite sure I know what you mean. Do I respect him? Do I admire him? I said, no, no, do you love him? He said, I, I'm not sure I understand what that means. I said, well, are you married? Yes. Do you love your wife? Yes, he said with a smile. I said, oh, so you do know what I mean. Do you love the Lord Jesus? He said, you know, I, I can't say that I do. And I said, you know, that's an honest answer because you can't love someone if you've never met them. And I turned to 1 Corinthians 16, and I read to him these solemn words. In verse 22, If anyone does not love the Lord Jesus Christ, let him be anathema, let him be accursed. And I explained to him the two options that he had. The Lord Jesus on the cross bore the curse for us. He could either bear the curse himself or by simple faith accept the Lord Jesus as his curse bearer. And he said to me, I would like to understand this better. I said, well, thankfully, there's a book in the New Testament that deals with this very subject. And I turned over to the book of Galatians, and I read to him these two verses. This is the bad news, Galatians 3 and 10. As many as are of the works of the law, as many as are trying to get to heaven by keeping the law, as many as are of the works of the law are under the curse. For it is written, quoting a verse out of the law as it was given to Moses, Cursed is every one who does not continue in all things which are written in the book of the law to do them. Now you notice it doesn't say most things or many things, it says all things. If you live under the law, you live under the curse of the law if you break it. And the law is inflexible. And the scripture says that if you break the law in one point, you're guilty of all. So that's the bad news. To anyone seeking to get to heaven by keeping the law, all they have to do for that to work is to keep the law in all things. And if you can do that, morning to night, day after day, year after year, from the moment of your birth until the moment of your death, then you're a shoe in for heaven. But of course we can't do that. Now the good news comes three verses later, where we read, Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law having become a curse for us. For it is written, Cursed is everyone who hangs on a tree. And so the Lord Jesus willingly went to the cross of Calvary in order to bear the curse of a broken law for us. So these are our options. Try to live by the law and come under the curse of a broken law. And hear the words again, if anyone refuses, if anyone will not love the Lord Jesus, he is accursed. Why? 
because Christ is the only antidote to the curse. But if you are willing to accept Christ as your Redeemer, then Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law and borne the curse so that we can go free. He thanked me warmly, said he'd never thought about these things, and I asked him to think seriously about them. Until you meet the Lord Jesus, you can't love him, and you can't meet him rightly until you make your way by faith to the cross. That's where Christ is revealed as the Redeemer and the curse bearer who came to save us and open heaven to us. Well, may the Lord encourage our hearts with this very simple explanation of the gospel. And remember the last statement in that verse in 1 Corinthians, if anyone does not love the Lord Jesus, let him be anathema, maranatha, the Lord is coming. And so it's incumbent on us to share this gospel while there's time because we never know what day will be the last day before the Lord returns.